All right, we're back. We're on page 97 of Math Analysis, and we're talking about 14 formulas. 14 formulas problems, like, it's a lot of calculating, a lot of stuff like that. So uh, the last video was super long, but I'm assuming no one will have watched the entire thing because, like, it's designed for you to just scroll through it. Um, this one's probably going to be the same. Uh, so we can do weird things. Like, we know the 14 formulas. You can play around with them, right? Like, if you know sine of A plus B, you can replace A with anything and B with anything and work on it, right? So we could find the sine of 4x plus 5y if we wanted to. It would be the sine of 4x cosine of 5y plus the cosine of 4x sine of 5y. Like, why would you be doing that? I don't know. But these problems give you, uh, like, almost that. So what we need are, I'm going to draw three triangles to represent the given information, uh, just so we can, like, go with that. So I'm going to draw a triangle for A over here. So A. And it's supposed to be in, so this quadrant right here is the third quadrant. So third quadrant, and then, so it's all about getting your triangles right as I draw a terrible triangle. Negative five, 13, gotta go with negative 12. That's, that's where your problem's gonna be. You're gonna forget to make that one negative. Um, the next one, B, is somewhere between zero and pi, but secant is negative, which means it's definitely not the first quadrant, so B is a second quadrant angle. B will be in the second quadrant. Ugh, what is going on? Uh, neg so secant, uh, I'm just going to think cosine is negative 24 over 25. So cosine is negative 24, 25, and then positive 7. And then C, where is C? C is in quadrant 3. So tangent is 20 over 21. So quadrant 3, tangent is 20 over 21, 20, 21, but that's wrong because quadrant three, everything's negative. And then uh, this will be 29. I know that one because it's my favorite one. If you're watching this randomly, you almost certainly did not know that. That's okay, but now you do. All right, so these are our triangles. I'm gonna put them just like over there and let's see if we can do this. So I wanna find the sine of 2a plus b. So sine of 2a plus b. I'm going to say is the sine of 2a, the cosine of b, plus the cosine of 2a, and the sine of b. So I don't know. I like to do, I like to put parentheses around everything. But these problems have so many parentheses in them that like, if an argument is more than just one thing, I'll put parentheses. Otherwise, I tend to leave it out because it's like an awful lot. So now I'm going to stop with this formula and I'm going to find some values. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the sine of 2a. So the sine of 2a is going to be 2, the sine of a, the cosine of a. So I'm just going to find what that actual value is um, and then I'll make a substitution. So 2, the sine of a over here you can see is negative 5 over 13 and the cosine is negative 12 over 13. So negative 5 over 13, negative 12 over 13. 2, negative 5 over 13, negative 12 over 13. Uh, and we can use a calculator for that, uh, but I mean, it's going to be 120 over 169. And then I need the cosine of 2a. So the cosine of 2a, since I was given the sine of a, I'm going to use 1 minus 2 sine squared so that I have fewer opportunities to introduce my own mistakes. Um, so negative 5 over 13, so that's going to be 1 minus 2 times negative 5 over 13 squared, which is, I don't know, it's 169 minus 50 is 119 over 169. So one thing, one thing that's really interesting about these kinds of problems, um, and you don't really need to necessarily agree, is because the sine is 120, over 169 and the cosine is 119 over 169 we just found a pythagorean triple there's a pythagorean triple that's 119 120 169 that's the only way that this could work um and that's like really interesting to me it's a, a weird way that you like stumble into some pythagorean triples uh but what are we gonna do so i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to use uh like vastly different colors this time but sine of 2a i know is this and i'm gonna plug that in there. And then uh, cosine of 2a, I know is this, 
and I'm going to plug that in there. And then I need uh, cosine and sine of B. So cosine of B is negative cosine of B. Yeah, negative 24 over 25 and sine is 7 over 25. So let's see. If we can do, I mean, I'm not going to remember that, but uh, so this will be equal to 120 over 169. And then cosine of B, we said, was uh, negative 24 over 25. And then plus the cosine of 2A, we said, was 119 over 169. And then sine of B is 7 over 25. So let's go to the calculator. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did last time, where I'm going to like store everything punch it in and see what the calculator gets, and then also punch in and see if I got the same thing. So add it. Let's go to the calculator, and I'm going to just start a new problem, I guess. Doc for problem, and then I need, so A is in quadrant three. So A colon equals quadrant three, so pi plus arc sine of absolute value, so 5 over 13. And B is in quadrant two, so I'm going to do pi minus arc cosine, sorry, arc secant of uh, 25. So always the absolute value, though, there. So I'm trying to find the sine of 2A plus B. So I should get this. Uh, let's see what happens. 120 times negative 24 plus 119 times 7 over 169 times 25. Negative 2047 over 4225. Negative 2047 over 4225. Uh, and that should be it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do one more in this video and then I'll, I'll split it and come back and do another video of this page. Just because people don't like watching 30 minute long videos. I mean, nobody does. Nobody makes it that far. It's not even possible. All right, so and how many will that be? Three? Yeah, we got it. We got this. All right, cosine of A plus B plus C. I can do any number of things. So I could make it the cosine of A plus quantity B plus C. I can make it the cosine of quantity A plus B plus C, which is what I'm definitely gonna do. Or I could do like uh, cosine of A plus C and then plus B, like whatever you wanna do. Just make sure that you know what you're doing reduces back to a plus b plus c. So here it's going to be the cosine of, I'm going to do the quantity a plus b plus c. So that'll be the cosine of a plus b. So it's cosine, cosine, and then minus sine, sine, sine of a plus b, and then sine of c. Okay, so, and again, I'm not gonna keep going with formulas here. I'm gonna now find the cosine of A plus B, find the sine of A plus B, and then plug in. So cosine of A plus B is going to be cosine, cosine, minus sine. I might need to move some things, bleeding, bleeding into things here. Um, so on our triangles, cosine A is negative 12 over 13. So we got negative 12, yeah, get bigger. Negative 12 over 13, uh, cosine of B, I'll find the sine of A is five over 13, I guess, because I think A is in, what quadrant is A in? Nope, negative. Okay, and then we'll find the sine of B. So the cosine of B is negative 24 over 25, negative 24 over 25, and then this is seven over 25. And we will use a calculator to get that. And then the sine of A plus B. So once you know the formulas, you can do uh, just so much. Uh, and you should try, like try to think of your own problems that you could do. Plus cosine, sine. Okay, so sine of A, I guess we, we know these, like I'm gonna try to pull these off the thing above it. So sine of A is negative five over 13. Cosine of B is negative 24 over 25. So this is an advantage of neat work. 
but if you make a mistake, you're kind of dooming yourself. So uh, pluses and minuses, you know, seven over 25. It's like the formulas are just jumbles of each other though, when you look at them this way. So this, what can I do here to like free up some space? Oh, well this can obviously go way over. No, no reason for the initial thing to be so close. And then these, I will just find on the calculator and then plug in, I think. Uh, so let's see, let me, let me just do those on. You know what, I won't even switch. I'll just do them on the calculator and then I will, I'll write them in. Uh, so, or is that, that's less interesting. Here, you can watch me do them on the calculator. That's way more interesting. Here we go. So I need uh, oop, negative 12 times negative 24 minus uh, negative five times seven. And that's over 13 times 25. So that'll be three, two, three over 25. Three, two, three over uh, 325, not just 25, silly. And then negative five times negative 24 plus uh, negative 12 times seven over 13 times 25. They should always have the same denominator. So that means 36, 323, 325 should be a Pythagorean triple. Uh, and it is but it's like mind boggling. So like if we do 36 squared plus 323 squared, does that equal 325 squared? True, it does, it has to because sine squared plus cosine squared has to equal one, but like what? Uh, so we have a bunch of values, so let's go back and uh, plug those in and then, whoa, scrolling. Uh, let's see. I think it scrolls so often, not that you can see it scrolling. Uh, I think it does that so often now because it's like really hot here. And so it's kind of humid. And, uh, basically the iPad is sticking to my hand every time I touch it. Um, so summon in here, we're going to have, so this will be three, two, three over three twenty five, And then, uh, I need to find the cosine of C minus 36 over three twenty five. And then I'll need to find the sine of C. And then we're going to use a calculator anyway. So C is down here. So cosine is this over this, negative 21 over 29. And then sine is negative 20 over 29. So I have 21 over 29. This is going to be a huge denominator, negative 20 over 29. Probably a big numerator too. Um, all right, so calculator. And then I'm going to have to define uh, like maybe everything. I don't really know what, am, what problem am I working? So a, okay. A and B, I just need to define C to be able to like really do the problem. So C is going to be, it's in quadrant three. So pi plus I'm gonna do arc. I think we were given arc cotan maybe no arc tan. I don't know what we were given, but arc tan of 20 over 21 definitely works. Okay. So if I find the cosine of a plus B plus C, I get that. If I do my calculation, 323 times negative 21 minus 36 times uh, negative 20 over 325 times 29. Let's see, negative 6063 over 9425. So good job us, negative 6063 over 9425. Let me go back to the notes. I'm gonna stop this video here. I will come back. I'm gonna to try to do the next three problems in the next video, I guess, which uh, I don't know how long that'll take, but we'll find out. And there you go. So these are the ones that we've done so far. I guess, uh, I think the highlighting is kind of useful. I don't know how you feel about it, but like we got cosine of a plus b, was it this? And then we subbed in here. And then we also had um, sine of a plus b. Just, just the, the less obvious ones, right? Like where are all these coming from? So you can, you can follow the, co the color coding there. And then let me do this one. and then there. So I think it makes it easier to follow. I mean, I don't think I would be doing that on paper. I don't really know. I mean, I find it really useful. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna stop this here. I will be back to do C, D and possibly E in the next video. See you there.